Hey everyone, Double P here. So in today's uh, end of the day trading recap, uh, we went and attacked the SPY. Now, I know I sent you out some other trades uh, over, uh, over the weekend uh, yesterday. Let's go have a look at those. Well, actually, you know what? Let's get, let's get the SPY out of the way uh, because it was a fantastic trade. So let's kind of scroll back over here. So in pre-market, what do we do? Well, we always draw the box. As you can see here, this is where the box is. The box is uh, right down here, very low. So when the SPY was raging in pre-market, 361, and it just kept climbing up, here's the 200 right here. And here's the 20 right here. So you can see right here, my 200 turned green all the way through pre-market. And then uh, right here towards the last 10, 15 minutes of pre-market, the SPY just started to explode. And this 200 just kept pushing it up. So as you know, when it opens up uh, above the box, uh, we are going to go long. This is a long position. Matt, now remember the caveat to that is, is if it opens up way above the box, like really high above the box, chances are it may come back down if the momentum is not strong enough. So it may come back down, but the 200 and the 20 just ripped it so strong that this was just a powerful move for the spy. So uh, when I just saw that, like I had to take this trade. So here's where I took the trade and sent it out to you at uh, around 9.32, 9.33. And this is what we got right here. We got this beautiful move, just, a, just sheer momentum to the upside. Fantastic trade right there. So let me come over here. Uh, what is this? So for those of you that are not in the Platinum, X Power Option Traders Group. This is the trade I sent out to my guys and girls today. So bought to open September 17th, October 22nd, SPY 366 strike call. You don't need to know what we paid for it or how many contracts I told them to get. Plus 20%, minus 15% stop loss. These expired today, don't hold till the end of the day, right? So that was that trade right there. And then uh, we got, uh, that's what I already showed you there. And this is the close. So I sent out the close to my guys, uh, sold the close, uh, 17th October, 2022, 50% profit. I'm out of the trade, done trading for today. So that was that. And today I loaded up the boat. Uh, with the spy trade because I just saw it was just way too strong. So plus 58%, $9,300 today. Um, very, very, very good trade. So don't copy and steal my stuff. And uh, as you can see right here, all right? So the 200 is just starting to turn and flatten out, which is okay. The 20 here turned yellow, so it got negative. So you see right here, uh, once it hit the high, that's pretty much when I was out, right at the high. And it starts, uh, not collapsing, but now you're gonna see some consolidation. Right here is consolidation. You see the high of the option right here, where it hit, that's the option, 366. And then we come over here to the uh, three day, two hour chart. You see exactly what's going on here. Here's the 20, here's a 200 crossing over, but the, two, but the 20 is so strong. You see that big movement right there, it just explodes, right? See the Mac with prices, the histograms going up. The signal line right here is changing. This is intraday momentum index that I got on. Uh, and then RSI and the money flow. Everything's turning up bullish. So let's go have a look at, uh, let's go have a look at uh, the trades I sent out to you. 
for the coaching call, we got Kroger. Let's have a look at it. So, as I said, Kroger was going to be a short, and uh, what a beautiful short this was. So we can see it right here. So you could, so you couldn't go wrong today with this right here. This is beautiful. Uh, so you look at the coaching call on Sunday, uh, Sunday night at I sent out. I said this is going to be a short position on Kroger. Look at that opened up inside of the box. So remember what I said, if it opens up inside of the box, this is kind of like the death zone. This is kind of, we don't take this trade. Or if we do take this trade, it's going to be like a spread to mitigate your risk. Or you look at what's going on with the 20 and you look at what's going on with the 200. So right here, look at the price action. I would have probably taken this trade if I wasn't focused on the SPY because this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is bearish all the way. This is an inverted hammer, but it's bearish. This is supposed to be a bullish hammer, but it's not. You can see this. You can see the size of the wick right there. Let me see if I can open this up a little bit more for you here. Hold on. Make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it. So yeah, this is something that this is this is what a wild profitable trade this would have been right here right just stair stepping down this is algorithm right so this is an algorithm pounding the stock down let's come over here and let's get uh let's get my channel tool out so we don't need the box anymore so let's come over here All the way down here. Let's break this channel. Let me remove the box. Uh, remove drawing. Let me remove the box here. So that you can see it. So perfect. So there's our channel, right? I drew the channel. All the way down, you can see it right here and extend it all the way down. It's inside of that channel right there, bouncing back and forth. This is all algorithm, right? It's slowly, methodically just pushing the stock down, right? Consolidation, drop, right? Consolidation, drop. Beautiful. What a beautiful trade that would have been as well for uh, Kroger if you would have if you would have taken it. It's on your watch list. Have a look at it. Let's go look at ACI because this is Albertsons. Same thing. What a beautiful trade that would have been right there. Wow. So yeah. So that's it. Those are the t those are the those are the coaching calls. That I send out to you, and uh, what a beautiful trade. All three of those trades would have worked tremendously. But the SPY has more liquidity, obviously, and uh, that's kind of why I took it. It was just too strong. So let's come over here and let's look at what's going on on the chart. Yeah, we had this violent move up. We had this violent move up in the NASDAQ. You can see it right there, just beautiful. Let me open this up in the ES Mini. Yeah. Energy is down. So you see this right here. We got a nice move on the ES. And technology, NQ, SPX is going up too. This is like the big, uh, the big daddy right here, right? This is order flow that funnels over here. Energy is dropping. Transportation is going down. Bonds are going down. Financials are up. So good trade overall. So you yeah, asked so them my trading out of a real account. Everyone has three years running. So I just keep doing it. Uh, margin account, full blown margin account. See it right there. Stock is in real time. 
Amex, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, all real-time feeds. Equity options, real-time feed. Futures, I don't trade futures, and it's delayed for me, so I don't trade it, so I don't need the feeds on for it. Uh, Forex, real-time, others, real-time, so everything's all real-time there. So what a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, trade this would have been, ACI, Albertsons. I mean, is this something that we can get into? Probably still. Y you know what? This is going to hit. This is going to challenge for the low of the day. So we could possibly look at taking a trade. But you know what? I've done good today. I'm not going to take any more trades. All right? You see my system right there alerting me to take big block options. So that's it for me. Double P. Hope you took the trade today on the SPY. Hope you are profitable. Uh, let's see what the SPY is doing. So the SPY may, judging by the 200 and the 20, so it's going to be close. It may challenge for the high again, and it may not. It may just uh, fail, but it's strong, right? So let's have a look at this here. The SPY is strong. 2%? Yeah, this SPY is strong. See, the 200 is just moving it like this. So... This could possibly challenge for the high again for today. And here comes the 20 pushing right up here. So, yeah, we could see uh, volume is low, though, but volume is picking up. So that's it from me, Double P, over and out. I'll see you in the next trading session. Take care, everybody. Oh, just forgot to tell you there. If you're wondering what all this is right here, this is support and resistance. All these lines right here are support and resistance levels, right? Price action levels. When you map all that stuff out, you see the gap right there from the low, from the high, and then the price action. That's when you know exactly when you can take your trades. So you look at the pockets, you look at the price action. This is volatility, right? And this is probably going to be challenging for the high uh, for today. So... Just wanted to get that out of the way there so that you can see it. Take care, everybody.